Hello Libra, welcome back to Truth with Tarot. My name is Lynn and today I'm going to do a reading for February. Um, see what happened in the past, see what you're currently dealing with, and what's going to be coming up in the near future. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so I'm going to start with the Oracle of Echoes by Anna Turian. I'm hearing three. So two more shuffles. One more. Wow. Spirit guides. That's what popped up when I opened it. And something about home. So that's what your current energy is. I don't know what that means, but that's what popped up. Alright, one more shuffle. And then we are going to go ahead and start with what happened in the past for Libra. Sun, moon, or rising. Um, if you hear any noise in the background, that's my pressure cooker making sweet potatoes. <laughs> so, <laughs> don't mind it, okay? All right, so, ooh, in the past position. You dealt with some type of death. The death card came out. So, either the death of a situation, you ended it, or the, the person ended it. The death of a person, some type of death, something ended. So, your call, what ended, okay? But there was some type of death in the past. So, what's your current energy? What are you currently dealing with? Okay, let's see. We have abundance, okay. So, what I'm hearing is that there's abundance coming your way and a lot of good things are happening to you, but some of you are not believing it. Like you feel like, some of you feel like you don't deserve it. Some of you are questioning the good things that are happening. So abundance can be success, um, having a lot, things going your way. Basically, things are working out in your favor. That's what abundance means. So, what I'm hearing is whatever it, whatever good is happening to you, don't question it. You deserve it. Yeah, it's coming your way. So, don't fight it. Just go with it. Okay? That's what I'm hearing. And then, for the future position, what is coming up for Libra? Wow, spirit guides. Ooh, nice. Very nice. Look at that picture right there. That's beautiful. So, yeah, um, for Libra in the near future, <sighs> it is a spirit. Oh, it's called spirit heals. Okay, so there's going to be some type of healing going on. Some of you are not going to know how why when or where or what you some of you may think you're being haunted there may be ghosts some strange things going on but don't question it it just means spirit heals meaning one of you spirit guides or if you believe in such a thing um somebody from your past life or from the past that's no longer in the body is helping you heal okay so you may turn to somebody that you may not see or hear but you feel so that person is helping you heal okay so don't be afraid of that person let them heal you that's what I'm hearing okay all right so that is the past future wait past Current and future energy, and then we go ahead and um, put this back. All right, so let's go ahead and move on with the tarot. So let's get more information on the past. All right, I'm hearing four. So, so far, three, and then four. One. These cards almost dropped out, but I caught them. 
All right, two. All right, so just from opening it, I'm getting eight of pentacles. This has to do with work and nine of wands came out or in the reverse. So you are protective or guarded over something, but that's over now. That's what I'm getting. Okay, that was two, right? I think two shuffles. Three and then one more. Last one. All right, last one. Okay. Come on. Some of these cards are going to go in there. All right. So, what happened in the past regarding or concerning death? Okay. Nope. Okay, slow down. Okay. All right, here we go. Um, it had to do with strength. Okay, so the strength card is a Leo card. So it could have been the death of a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or somebody's death, or the ending of a situation gave you strength. So you mean... You had to end a situation in order to gain strength, okay? That's what I'm hearing. So, something about the strength, strength card. And then abundance, what about it? Abundance. So, you have the king of swords. Yeah, clarity. Um, Truth. So the King of Swords came out, and it could be somebody that you're dealing with that's an air sign, um, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. But I'm, what I'm hearing is <clears throat> that this is the truth. That abundance is coming your way, and you deserve it. That's what I'm hearing. Don't question it. Don't fight it. Don't try to stop it. Just... Go with it. Accept it. Yeah. Abundance is coming your way. Good things are happening. You're succeeding. Things are going your way. And you deserve it. So don't fight it. Just go with it. That's what I'm doing, okay? All right. So for the future outcome, Spirit Heals. <clears throat> so let's see what card is going to come out. Slow down. I'm, I'm like feeling so rusty right now. Okay. Ooh, the lovers. So again, another air sign. So the lovers card is um, for Gemini. So in the future, an air sign, a Gemini, or a Libra or Aquarius could be one of the spirits that's going to help you heal. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. Or, you're going to have to make a difficult decision, a big decision in the near future. And, a spirit is going to help, help, is going to help heal you. So, like I said before, whatever decision, decision that you make, left or right, right or wrong, it's not going to be easy, but it's going to be correct. Whatever you choose is going to be the right one. Okay? So that's what I'm hearing. Okay. So, what is the message from the Love Story Oracle? Let me go ahead and put the crystals back. Okay. I'm hearing four again. So, four shuffles. And then just from opening the deck... I'm hearing forgiveness and <clears throat> support came out. Okay. So one, two, three, and last one. 
four. All right. So let's see what the love story oracle message is for those of you that are um, Libra. Yeah, single Libras. I'm here. One more shuffle. So one more. Okay. All right. <clears throat> What's the message for those Libras that are single? Okay. Here's for the single Libras. Self-worth. Okay. So in the near future, you're going to realize your self-worth. Yeah. You're going to realize that, yes, you're better off single than miserable with someone else. <clears throat> so that's for the future outcome. Those of you who are going to be single or are single in Libra sign, <clears throat> sun, moon, and rising, yeah, you're going to realize your self-worth, okay? So this is for those Libras um, that are currently attached or involved or will be attached or will be involved. Here's the love story <clears throat> message for you. Okay. I'm getting guts. What? What is this? Here. This is the card that came out for you. For those that are involved. That are Libras. This is number 36. It looks like guts. Wow. So what I'm hearing is bravery, the balls, the strength, the courage, the guts. So you're going to have the strength or courage to do what feels right to you. And I'm hearing some of you may have to end a current situation because some of you are feeling like something feels weird something feels off and you're supposed to end that situation or release that person that's what i'm hearing okay so yeah for those of you who are libra who are involved number 36 came out guts you're gonna have the guts to do something that feels off <laughs> that's what i hang okay so libra i hope this helped you in some way and if you enjoyed the video please leave a like share comment and subscribe and i will talk to you soon